For big fish, a beautiful day a bit cloudy but uh, still I think it's a good condition for fishing today I brought my BFS tackle today it's a uh, ultra light tackle which I will show you right away and this is the uh, Dubai canal zone I tried to show you the day earlier and there was not my action I just released a small GT but today I will be focusing on micro baits and micro jig heads micro uh, silicone baits and try to catch some uh, bait fish or small rock fish around here so the wind is uh, coming from that direction it's quite windy today but this spot is just because of the uh, rocky spot it just you know covers you from the wind so this is a very good spot and the tide is high so we will be doing our best to get some fish okay i will also uh, sh show you the tackle i use today this is the tackle we will be using today this is daiwa alphas air tw i think you you all knew this uh, perfect pfs reel uh, it's wind up with uh, Seaguar 0.3 braid just 50 meters and also uh, I attach Sunline FC shooter fluorocarbon this is Yamaga uh, let me show you Yamaga blue current 53 bait casting rod it is rated 0 to 5 grams it's mainly focusing on the horse mackerel and small rock fish and it's the perfect BFS rod if you are looking for a GDM rod and it's very nice isn't it so we will be focusing on micro bass micro jigs and try to catch some small rock fish but we'll see how it goes so stay tuned okay so let's see what we have here I will show you my salt water jigging tackle these are the micro jigs I use. Uh, these are strictly for salt water, so you can see some, you know, micro uh, shrimps. There are Zesta uh, micro jigs. There's Savage Gear vibration lures. These are 4.5 grams. These are very nice. These uh, these are the Blue Ride mini jigs. These are three grams, and these are little little jig. These are 1.52 grams. And there is larger blue ride, sea ride, mini jig. And there is also, I think these are 5 grams or something. These are little jig. Look how cool is this. Oh my god. See how the curves? It's very nice, isn't it? So there are some micro jerk baits and some other as well. These are 1.2 grams, I think. We will try all of these and see if we can catch something else. Let's see. So uh, we'll start with the vibration lure. This is Savage Gear, 4.5 grams. Uh, I'll start with this lure because I call this a search bait. This, this shows us if the uh, fish are active or not. So it attracts many fish. So it tells you an idea what kind of fish are lurking here. I have what? Lager. 
or you just doing video? Yeah, I just doing. Video. Look at your vlog. We used to cut hamur like this. Sometimes we cut uh, two kg. So you cut uh, like hamur uh, oh, yeah. from from the pools. Yeah. Oh, so it's big in underneath, huh? Yeah. Let's see if we have if we have any. Yeah, it's quite rocky and just. So this is how I use this tackle, put this on the uh, bottle uh, cap, so, and I just take it off my lure, then grab my chicken box and switch for something else. What should we try? Hmm. Maybe a more realistic approach, huh? What do you think? Okay. So, let's try. Oh, it goes very nice, very far away. I think it's about 25 meters or something like that. Let's do some jigging, huh? Funny if you get a strike or bite. Okay, so this is not working. So let's change to something else. Yeah, let's try shrimp for once. Because you know, salt water fish love shrimps. Everyone loves shrimps. Look how tasty it looks. Oh, yummy. The weight is over here. So you can either uh, attach here or here, but I will, uh, I prefer this way. So I will just try to imitate a, a you know, a running or an injured shrimp some jigging action and see how it goes yep so it's about 3.5 grams Let me show you the action. Yeah. I'll just cast over there. Can you see it? Yeah. 
see the presentation this is little jack shrimp i can't remember it's a diff it has a kind of different name but look how it just bounces see on the rock very nice okay well, we'll get it a bit higher okay let's see so let me show you the Jig as I use in salt water. So these are the jigets I use for uh, micro plastic baits. So let's see. Mm. Well, we definitely need a bit higher, I think. So we might go with this one. Okay, let's try this one. So this is Daiwa. I can't remember his name. Uh, it might be the Gekkajibin or something else, but it's the Daiwa. It is fluorescent, and you see the profile is very nice. It's very sharp for this time. So the bait I will be using is this. This is called Isome Marikyu. It's a Japanese. Uh, it's a Japanese bait. It has nice flavor, aroma, and odor with it. So let's try to grab one of these. This is better. Yeah. So it, you see, there is a fluid inside, and you don't want this fluid to go wasted uh, or you know uh, drop over your back so this is uh, this is the Meho versus uh, box for it doesn't uh, you know doesn't let the fleet go out okay so so what you want is just you know present it nicely over the hook just hide the hook within try not to damage the lure because it's a very fragile bait okay this would do 2.5 or 3 grams totally so let's see if we can cast this to a good distance This will be enough. So what we will be do is we'll just yeah oh got a bite yeah very nice. So just little bounces and see if we can get a bite. Try to be careful oh yeah. Try not to snack. You see, uh, see how it pulled. Oh my god! It and it just bite the half off. Who? Well, I think it uh, attacked from this side. You see, the first part is gone. So let's see. If we can attract more fish, you see the uh, the aroma flavor is so strong. You get instantly bites. The problem is those uh, rockfish with you know uh, tiny teeth. They just bite it off quite fast, actually.
yeah, we got it. Come on. Ah, lose it. Ah, come on. No, did we? I think it just snacked. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. First I got it, then it goes under the rocks and yeah, snapped my line. You see, uh, I should have been more careful and you know, immediately pulled it off. Yeah, but ha it happens. At least we got our leader. So, you see, these baits work very well. Because, you know, I couldn't get any action with the jigs and vibration lures, but this works at the bottom very well. Ah, they... Just only big. Yeah, it's just above the limits. You are only hunting for big fish. For big fish, oh. Oh, got, yeah, I got something. Come on. Yeah. Finally, finally. Finally, huh? Yeah. Mga lure, may ina yung gamit. Yeah, kanina yung akong gamitin niya. It's like a worm. Yes. Yeah, kanina yung batuha akong gamitin niya. Huwag kanina siya. Oh! Putulong na na ako nga rin. Kwa ka dito? Ang bato, bato na yung gamitin ka. Di, ato yung plan. Ano yan, taga? Huh? Ato yung taga. So, what we catch the grouper with is this one. This is Isoma Marukyu. It is, it looks like a green worm, isn't it? But it is larger, it's thicker. So, it is weighter, so you can throw much higher distance. And uh, I just, you know, hide the hook here, make a uh, weedless presentation. Okay, let's try again. So, this is fourth time I tied the lender leader it's because it's so rocky, I got snagged all the time. They also cut their line too often. So we try again again, lose some time, get back to fishing. And let's see if we get anything again. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, I'm tired of my line being cut off by the oysters, rugs and everything. It's like four or five times I, uh, you know, FG not even, I tied up. And it takes so much time here. So let's do some heart bait. This is a custom uh, micro bait. It has some, you know, sound in it. It looks very uh, live and realistic. It also imitates a bit shrimp colors. So let's see. Breaks on four. Let's try it. Yeah, I can loosen up more, I think. Let's see if we get some action with this one. So let's check our box now. Let's try the shrimp color. I'm 
not sure if it is the original Dio or it is the imitation. It looks like the imitation, but it is very lively, isn't it? So. This is savage gear. It's a micro popper. It is very realistic. It has a very good action. Three grams. It's a bit hard to cast, but still, good distance. Do your total shots. I think it's about four grams or something. Very nice colors, isn't it? decided to switch the spools this is the uh, dive original spool I was using the chameleon it was spoiled with 0.3 braid so this is 0.6 so let's try with this one play with this one Easy peasy. Okay. Let's tie this to the rod. I'm tired. I'm tired, guys. Like it has been three hours. Lots of broken lines. Lots of issues. But this is salt water wind today. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, this is the end of today. It didn't go as much as I planned, but fishing, it is what it is. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes not. But you see, yeah, this wreck shore just killed me, man. Got like four or five snags, four times of I, you know, uh, tied FG knots and still got snagged again, again, again. And yeah, it's quite windy today. Can see the flag a little bit. Look how 
strong the wind is. So it's not the best conditions, but you know, fishing you try your chances, you do, you do your best, and still you just uh, enjoy your time and hope to get a better luck next time. So stay tuned for more videos and please like and subscribe it really helps to grow this channel later